What's up guys? Happy Saturday morning. Happy Vlogmas. Well, it's Saturday morning for us. I don't know about you guys. Anyways, guys, we're on my way to my mom's house. I got the pups with us. Yes, sir. And you might be asking, where's the star of the show with Frankuski? Well, let me tell you, he's actually already with my parents. I woke up super early today. I woke up like around five because miss over here, not this one, the other one, the other miss wanted to have an accident this morning. So I had to wake up super early and I just didn't go back to sleep. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do dad stuff today. I fixed the car and um, put gas and I was going to change the oil and all that stuff, but the places are closed and it's really cold. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go over to my parents and pick up our Christmas stuff because it's still there is that uh, we moved and they let us borrow their garage for a little bit so I brought Franco super early they took care of him for a little bit while I went and picked up miss because she got ready we're gonna eat some huevo rancheros and yeah that's the move guys we're back home I have some bad news and honestly I don't want to keep vlogging anymore because my whole day you think it's funny my whole day is ruined, guys. Like, I feel weird, not gonna lie. I feel like my childhood is over. Like, not even having a kid made me feel like, oh, my childhood's over, I'm a man. I, this right now made me feel like I'm I'm no longer a kid. Like, I'm no longer like a little kid and I'm officially a man. And it's because Cristiano Ronaldo, Portugal. They lost and they're out of the World Cup, guys, his last World Cup. You know, it hurt to see him like that, honestly, because obviously as a little boy, like, Blanca would use YouTube to look up her makeup videos and then look at influencers. and I what would you know little 13 year old boys do we looked up Cristiano Ronaldo highlights and try to do that when we played so anyways guys we're back home Franco has to take a nap the dogs have to eat and then I think we'll be back um or at least Franco and I will be back to my mom's and Blanca is gonna go do what babe Pilates. tell them guys I'm taking a reformer Pilates class for the first time in my life so send help because that's gonna be Are you going by yourself? Yeah. I have footage. The dogs rode in the back of a truck for the very first time. I don't know why I never like I told Blanca I was like no sé por qué nunca los enseñé desde chiquitos to ride in the back of a truck but it's because they were freaking spoiled and always rode in the front and the inside so uh, they did really good I thought they were gonna jump because little story time I love story time about a few years ago I had this uh, husky named Rocky my parents got him for the whole family but obviously he was more my dog so one day I did everything with Rocky I took him everywhere and I had this little like really really old truck and I was like I'm gonna take him to a dog park but I'm gonna put him in the backpack so then but my little brothers went and I was like I'm gonna to drive and all you guys have to do is just look through the window make sure he doesn't jump so they're like okay but this was years ago guys so my little brothers were probably like six or seven and then we're driving i'm driving like 10 minutes in i look through the rear view and i don't see rocky i'm like guys where the frick is rocky and they're like oh we don't know you know because they they got distracted and started looking somewhere else and sure enough i go back through the roads i was driving through and some guys like yo did you did your dog jump or something like that there's like a bleeding husky over there and sure enough i found rocky he was super scared and the only thing fortunately that happened was that his paws got like super scratched and they were bleeding so i took him to the vet and everything's good um yeah rocky was a really good dog guys he was so cute he was so big yeah i still think about rocky every now and then because he was a really good dog so i was really scared of these guys jumping i told blanca i was like if they jump i'm gonna break check the shit of this because i don't want to run over them guys i just gave the dogs food over there pero miren a la regañada no quiere comer. She's in a lot of trouble, guys. She did, like I said in the morning, the one accident in our room. <sighs> yeah, I was super pissed, guys. Super pissed. Because I was at like 5 in the morning. She didn't just do it one place. Like, she like all over. And I was really mad because obviously she's two. She hasn't had accidents in forever since she was a puppy. So, I don't know. I feel like Franco's like a little blessing in disguise. Because I was like thinking of all the things I was going to do to her. And just, or like just even leave her outside forever. I was so mad. But then I was actually replying to your guys's comments in her last video though about this one getting ready and just seeing him like laugh in the video and stuff like that kind of like calmed me down so it, it's weird that he's my little you know i don't know like stress reliever or whatever because i left the bathroom after replying to your guys's comments and seeing the video and i was like super calm and i just let her in and i petted her i was like it's okay like everyone has accidents like i mean i think i'm gonna shit myself so i can't even imagine her and the thing with chai guys is that i feel like not every anything in this world is 
isn't perfect and as much as I say Chai is, the only flaw she has is that no avisa cuando quiere ir al baño. Like she's not verbal, she's not a verbal dog. Like she doesn't cry, she doesn't claw at the door, she doesn't like make noise. Like she sprained her ankle, she's had thorns in her foot and all she does is limp. Like she doesn't cry, like Ozo cries to go outside. She doesn't do anything like that so she can't like wake us up. So that's why I feel bad for her and it's okay like you know. But yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that. It's funny how I've never had something call me down like that until I had my son so that's crazy. All right guys, an hour later Chubby Man is finally up again. I'm gonna let him rest a little bit because Como dicen las Mexican moms, you're not supposed to take a baby outside as soon as he wakes up. So he's gonna like chill for a bit, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna head to my mom. We have a little editor, helping editor here. The snow is falling and the cold wind is blowing hard I'm locked inside tonight but my heart is somewhere else I'm thinking of you babe and all your crazy ways I miss you more right now it must be these holidays you know you're my everything The only present I want And oh what I give to be with you Under the mistletoe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Yeah I got you on my mind Yo te bautizo en el nombre del Padre y del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amen. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I got you on my mind. Merry Christmas from a distance. I wish you were here tonight Oh, what I give Alright guys, Mami and I estamos comiendo Eggos Because you know what? Yeah <laughs> We're freaking starving and our reservations are until 3.30. So Bub's eating too, just so he doesn't get hangry. Can't really see him because the light. But he's eating toast with almond butter and a banana. Are you double fisting it, honey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. We made it to dinner. We're at Texas Day Brazil. So we are here, it's pretty fancy, I'm not gonna lie. It took them 30 minutes to sit up. Franco's asleep, el compadre. Well, they're watching football, I don't know if you can tell. They're not watching football. They're not watching football. Let me say it. Hello, comadre. I'm gonna change your contact name. Comadre is my name. We all gotta take shots of the football Oh, period. He was like, what? I was like, look at my brother. My corazón. Done with dinner. We finished dessert, dinner. Bro. Now we're getting dessert. Froyo. Getting dessert at Froyo. Franco. Kiss Froyo. Oh. oh, yeah. You know the vibes. I'm thinking of you, babe. And all your crazy ways. I miss you more right now. Must be these holidays You know you're my everything The only present I want And oh what I give to be with you Under the mistletoe Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas 
Yeah, I got you on my mind Merry Christmas, 